from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. The start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go down and towing the slab, Dakota Hudson. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Kyle Schwarber in now, takes ball one off the plate. Just nope, missed. There. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He wastes no time on this one. Home run number 10 of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot. And it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did. Start the game off with a huge bang. Bryson Stock stands in now and watches strike one. Fouled off. He was late. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it across. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. And time now for the Phillies lineup. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean... This is an age where strikeouts are up so high and players are swinging and missing going for the fences. But if you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous hey. club. You get more runners on base, then all of a sudden oh, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind her. One out, base is empty and a run in. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. The other way, and he beats the shift. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy out. And now it's Alec Bohm. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Ground ball, left side. Zips it to first. And there are two outs. That is good. The second baseman, Cody Clemens. Cody Clemens digs in now. And that one in the air center field. Beck sizing this one up. Pauls it in to end the inning. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Back here at Coors Field. And towing the slab in this one, Aaron Nola. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Up the middle. And that chance handled. Tosses the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. Some power, but low on base and ranking towards the bottom in runs per game. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. And now, Ezekiel Tovar right through there for a strike. It's always fun watching Nola pitch. He's one of the best pitchers in the league because he knows how to control a baseball. He's got excellent command of his pitches, which keeps his walk rate low and helps keep him out of trouble. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And that's outside. Ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Out to center on the move. Makes the grab for the second out. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. That's in there. That's strike one. Two out, space is empty. Miss struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Rockies are down quietly. They trail here, one nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran outfielder, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. Hudson back to work and that's in there at the knees crushed left center field this one's deep forget it a massive home run and they tack on to their lead it's two nothing that was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was gonna be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Ripped on a line. Cave makes the grab. And there's one down. The catcher. Garrett. Garrett Stubbs. Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. Inside almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Next offering is downstairs. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. 
pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make players earn it. The pitch. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. Nope, I mean, the there were a couple of umpires that weren't Three real balls, good, but strike. outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. That hey. clips the zone, yep. and that is strike two. Three, three. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Johan Rojas in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next one pitch ball, misses right. way outside. And the righty deals. That's Got a, a good eye there. Two balls, one strike. In there at the knees, two and two. And another ball. Stubbs over at first with one away. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now that, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's already homered here in this one. And a strike. All ones are down. Two on, one out. Misses oh, off the plate. And that's ball one. Good ball eye right two. there. The pitch. Ball back inside. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits, and a foul ball, he stays alive. One out, runners at first and second. Side and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Base is loaded with one away. This is Bryson Stott. Fastball for a strike. One along. Drive base hit. 
One runs in. Fires to the plate. He's in there. And they lead by four. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. First and second, one out. And now the first baseman, Bryce Harper, doubled in his first A.B. And that is in for a strike. It's all along. And a pitch. Not one close one. with that one. And the count is one and one. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Just missed. And strike two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Coming home. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's six nothing. Nicely done. Brings home two. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Dakota Hudson out of the game, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Cal Quantrill. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a foul straight back. One out and a runner at second. Quattro back to work. Just missed the inside corner, and one the ball. count is one and two. Three. Movement in the bullpen, Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Ball and that's inside. off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Ball and that four. just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Man at second. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And in one hops the wall. The run comes in from second. It's seven to nothing. And that's a double. Now that the second base. And it's second with one away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Cody Clemens. He's 0 for 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Runner at second here, one gone. Ball 
That Touch misses out. off the outside edge. Quattro back to work. That one missed. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. No advance. Good job behind the dish. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Here comes a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now back, left field, Brandon Martin. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. Line drive, base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. And it's an eight-run lead. Garrett Stubbs getting ready to hit. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And here it comes. Ball, that's out. Castellanos on second. Marsh at first, two out of the inning. In the air, left side. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. But they score seven times to blow this thing open. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies eight and the Rockies nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. The wind and the pitch. Ground off the middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Lowry's Montero stands in now oh, and watches count. strike one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Jake Cave now. Off the mark there, and it's one and oh. Count one and oh. Right hander kicks deals. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. The one one is fouled off. And he deals. Two balls. Squirts Two away a little bit, but no advance from the runners.
First and second, no outs. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jordan Beck. Up the middle, a sliding stop, it's short. It's there, and that's a great play. No runs on two base hits. No errors, and one left on. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Phillies eight, and the Rockies nothing. Back here in Denver, here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Quantrill, 29 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Eight. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Phillies doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. They're getting hits when it matters most and converting base runners into runs. They've got five hits with runners in scoring position. Next offering upstairs. One of the most frustrating things for an offense is leaving runners on base. So the big hits they've gotten in this one it made a very happy group of hitters down there. The one two. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So the lineup flips over. Now here is Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered in this game. A little bit high maybe. And that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Hey. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. And another ball. Just missing there. And that's ball three. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Runner at third, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And a pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. One gone here. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And now for the Phillies. Bryson Stock. One for two. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. And yeah, that's outside. Going to count one and two. One away with a runner at third. Just outside. And it's two and two. 
This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two two. Rojas stands at third with one gone in the inning. Out to short, Tovar. Rolls across the diamond. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Here's Harper now. Harper. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Now batting the third baseman. Alex. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Just off the outside edge, one and zero. Oh. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Here comes Harper around third. He will score. It's 10 0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Pitcher on here, Ryan Feltner. He's been so good against lefties. Cody Clemens stands in for the Phillies. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one catches the zone and it's one and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. And they'll do it again. That one way outside, and it's three and two. Runner at second, two down. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phillies 10 and the Rockies nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Hunter Goodman. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Next Ball offering one. upstairs. That clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. Just nope. misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Thank Just you. off the outside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it.
three and two payoff pitch and a pop up right side foul territory one down batting none the catcher Jacob Stalling. Jacob Stallings now he's been a great free agent side That one finds the zone. Strike one. The Phils up big in this one here in the last half of the third. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. That's a ball. Wouldn't Ball chase that time. that time. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Three. He goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Charlie Blackman now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Pitch oh, misses at one and one. That one down the line, and it goes oh, just foul. foul. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're down 10 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth and now Nick Castellanos as he turns on the rubber and with that good live one arm out. delivers that misses the zone and that's ball one swing and a high fly ball down the right field line Blackman going after it and he can't quite get there it's a foul ball the line of the pitch. Edge of the zone called a strike. One and two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. That one just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Oh and one. And a pitch. And one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And there's a the ball. And another ball. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Phillies catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field, and it falls. And that extends the inning. 
Waste no time there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, the base hit. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. And that's oh, outside. That's ball one. Just missed. Two balls, no strike. In the air, out towards right center. Beck makes the play, and that'll do it. Philly strand one, but they're still in front, 10 to nothing. Fourth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And the right hander back to work. That catches the top part of the zone. 1 1. On the ground. And foul ball. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Now a jump throw. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. Now Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base, and usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target, and I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. Man at first. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And they're at the knees. Going one. Oh, he's All looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Tovar aboard here at first with nobody out. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That one ripped. And that gets down in the corner. Around third. He'll score easily, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch misses. Man at second. Not no. even close there. And the count is 2-0. Oh. And that clips the inside corner. Gets the inside corner. Two and two. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty to the plate. Hit in the air, right field. Castellanos gets under it, and there's one down. The batter, the designated hitter, in Lowry Montero. And now here is Lowry's Montero. One for one with a single so far. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Oh, and one.
He swings and fouls one off. 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Jake Cave digging in for the Rockies. Ground ball to Bohm. The throw to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Phillies 10 and the Rockies 1. Back here at Coors Field, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike one. You know, these Phils, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. It's been a real team effort. Already seven extra base hits, so that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. One ball, two strikes. The punch out there, and that's the first out. And now Bryson Stock. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out, base is empty. This to center field. Sizes this one up. They got it for out number two. The first base is number three. Here's Bryce Harper. Three for threes, doubled twice and single. Pops it up as he checks his swing. Fires to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. Back here in Denver, bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Jordan Beck. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. All these Rockies finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's nope. been able to deliver That's a big intact. hit in those situations. Righty delivers. Ball. Just That's missed. Intact. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Next offering is in for a strike. Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So in now for Colorado, Hunter Goodman. Popped out and fouled ground first time through. That one fouled off. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning, number five. Now a high fly ball out to left center. On his way over, squeezes it. Two up, two down. Rockies down to their last out. Now the Rockies catcher, Jacob Stallings. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right through there for a strike. And that one sliced foul. 
The Rockies down to their final strike. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. One and ball. that one two is three. in the dirt. One and two to Cal. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch Three keep the bat alive and another ball wow this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run I love his tenacity good oh, plate oh, appearance oh, there the able to take the walk it wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Hit to right, and that should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies slug their way to a win in this one. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 10-1, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.